Today we're going to be doing an insulin demo. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to check our physician's order and compare them against the Cardex and the MAR. So we're going to have our right patient, right time, right dose, right medication, right frequency, and right route. Now that we've confirmed that everything is accurate, we can now work off our MAR. Next, we want to check and make sure we have our patient's allergy. We want to check our patient's allergies, medical history, see and make sure that their, lab, their blood pressure, their history, everything is in order to be given this medication. Since we're going to be giving insulin today, we want to check and make sure we have a good baseline of what, what those looks like and we want a current blood glucose to work off of. All right, now next stage. These things, we're going to check, go into the supply room. I'm going to wash my hands always before we go into the supply room. We're going to be grabbing our insulin needle. Always comes in units. We're going to be grabbing a 5 8 syringe. We're going to be grabbing some alcohol swabs. And we're going to be grabbing some gauze. We'll grab <clears throat> some more gauze. <clears throat> what? Gloves. And gloves. <laughs> you forgot your gloves. I forgot my gloves again. We might need to restart this. Let's keep going. Okay. All right, now that we have all this, we're gonna wash our hands again. We're gonna head over to our medications. We have lots of medications here. So this is a good time to do our first medication check. We Wait need- a second, I gotta flip the page. Make sure we're on the right thing. We're gonna be doing our medication check. We have NPH and we have, our person needs NPH. So that's great. We have our regular insulin. Our person also needs regular insulin. Next, we're going to check and make sure that these things are not expired. They are not expired. Okay, I'm going to move closer on your here. <laughs> this one is also not expired. Are we first? That's good. Now, we're going to take a bit of... We're going to rub the... We're going to check these again to make sure that these are all the right medications for my person doing my second medication check. Is it the right person? Yes. Is it the right time? Yes. Is this the right dose? We will see. Is this the right and applicable? So on and so forth. Great. And Next, we're going to roll these back and forth in our arms. Gently. We roll them gently to make sure that this warms up because these were in the fridge and it's kind of cold and we don't want to shake them because that would give it bubbles. We're going to do the next one. Shaky, shaky, rolly, 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 poly. Now we're going to rub the alcohol wipes. That's good. We take our insulin syringe. Why are we not doing this with gloves on? You don't need a glove yet. Okay, fine. And then we're going to put three milligrams of air into the NPH. I'm going to draw back up three because our dose is three. And into this one, put the air. Put over. One, two, three. Tap, tap, tap. Make sure there's no air. <laughs> Next, I'm going to verify with my other fellow nurse. How much do you see? Okay, I actually... Yeah, three. All right, guys, guys, guys. guys. Wait, dad, dad, dad. we got to make sure they see. How much do you see? Good. Now we're going to go into the NPH, and we're also going to drop three, as that is our dose. Making sure not to leave tap, any tap, behind tap. In, in our... R, C, H, or whatever it's called. Exactly. Now we're gonna recap the syringe, and we're gonna show it to our nurse friend again. So what number do you see? Six. Now this show the camera. Six. What do you see? Dad, you're, the numbers aren't facing them. Oh well. That's great. Whatever, okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Then we're gonna label this thing. Yes. And we're going to bring it out to our room. This is our patient. But before we enter the room, we're gonna, we're gonna do our last med check. And make sure, because we might have a whole bunch of meds on our cart, to make sure that we're giving, we have the right medication for the person. This medication is for Laura Brooks. She needs six milligrams of insulin, three NPH, three regular. That's what I have here. We're going to now enter, we're going to now wash our hands, enter the room. Making sure that... So that we're going to go and make sure we have our two patient identifier. Hello, are you Laura Brooks? Yes. Oh, AKA dad, 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 dad. <laughs> Yes, you are. Wonderful. Okay. Well, that's time to close the curtain. Why don't you actually just go close an actual curtain? It's fine. Okay. We close the curtain. Is there any spot in particular you would like to have your insulin? In my tomato. 
I'm going to do your tummy. Now we're going to take two fingers away from your belly button. Where did you have your last injection? Right there? Good. I will go on this side. Now we were going to cleanse the area. Dad, you're using the gauze. That's fine. <laughs> injection. Nice. One, two, three, four. Click and that and throw that away. Now we're going to put and hold one, that. One, two, three, four. You can take it off now. And we're going to check and make sure there's no bleeding. That was great. You did a very good job, Tomato. Would you like to have? Would, would you like your TV remote control, your a glass of water, and your call bell? Yes, you would. Excellent. You can now have your friends back. Would you like to have a fruit? If you want to have a fruit party, now's the time to have one. In about thirty <laughs> minutes, I will come back and make sure that you're doing okay. <laughs> now, as I leave, I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to record how my tomato managed its injection, where I put that injection, how much insulin I put on there, and I will come back in 30 minutes to make sure that they're not having any hypoglycemic effects.